He's back. G'day. I'm Wade Chapman. No, wait. I didn't lace out Tony Lockett at the 1996 preliminary final. <laughs> However, I was at that ground. Apparently, I fell asleep in the third quarter. I'm Alex Donnelly. I'm off my deathbed, and I'm in the host chair this week as <laughs> corporate Jim. Um, well, the boomers started playing, so he disappeared in the Olympics, right? Yeah, he's, he's somewhere uh, up north, I think. The boomers started playing, so the boomer disappeared. Whoa, <laughs> there, we <go>. there we go. <laughs> he would not be happy with that. <laughs> Welcome to the AFL Today Show. This is your one-stop shop for the greatest game in the world, Australian rules football. Joining me, you've already heard from them, dinguses, footy nuffies, nerds, Children, I Ex call them. Experts. We've got the stats guy, Lee McCallion, over there. Absolutely. I feel like this is the first time this uh, trio sure on a show. I oh, feel maybe like back in the old code bet. Maybe, yeah, back yeah. in the old. But AFR today is just a bit of a new look. Yeah. Don't mind it. And Leo's over there. He's up and about. The, the hawk are doing it. <laughs> They're up and about. <laughs> you forgot to add a hawk lover here, Leo. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Checking in, feeling good, feeling up and about. Yeah. Checking so in. subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow AFL Today on all the socials. Give us a like, a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and X. Facebook is the Sports Today show, but can you smell it? Because footy's back. Oh, the I cooking? am oh. back. <laughs> Let's have a quick look. Harry Mackay apparently Ooh. had a virus. Yeah, bull I crap. call bull dust. Uh, so do I. That virus, something to do with his head, symptoms of concussion. He was knocked out last week, let's be honest, gentlemen. He was wobbling everywhere. I was watching, obviously, being an fan, I was watching that game. That is the most sus thing. Straight, they though. could have at least said he was he was sick earlier in the week. He left it until right before the game <laughs> to go, uh, if, it, if he actually gets hurt this week or has a concussion symptoms, we could be in for a lawsuit. Yeah. So let's just say he was sick. I reckon he had a headache from concussion symptoms, so, which no, technically no, is he... sick. But they've no, met the, the rules virus. There. He was nauseous. What's the where does some nausea come from? When you're concussed. When you're concussed. There yeah. we go. So we we don't know the full story, we're but not, it does seem we're really not medical sus. doctors, but we are. Yeah, we're not sometimes. medical doctors, but when you get knocked to the ground and your arms go stiff, you're probably knocked out. Therefore, you are concussed. Yeah, that's yep. how he sleeps. Just just like that. Yeah, <laughs> just, like his arms. just like a T-Rex. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the Western Bulldogs won three in a row. This world is weird. Are I we living in an alternate universe? I don't like <laughs> this it. This is crazy. You don't like it because they beat Sydney, but also just feels weird. I, I yeah, he tip, just hates I the dogs. I tipped the Western Bulldogs. Do you remember the good old days when we bagged Bevo, bagged the dogs? We still Bev can. Bevo, <laughs> we can't. They we can. They're, they're like... Alex put him in flag hunting on his pack. They got Melbourne on Friday. What if they lose that? Five day break. Woo. Yeah. Oh, spicy. Uh, five day break. Thank and you. boys, and athletes. It's official. The twenty eighth parallel. No. Oh. Can we get like Hello Darkness, mild friend, or something like Dead, that? Dead. The top. Buried. Oh. Finito. Violin. Done. <clears throat> it's actually ruined my weekend. Gold Coast, the final lost at home. What is going on? They're, literally, it's an alternate <sighs> universe. Got Bulldogs win three in a row, and the Suns lose at home. This is yeah. the opposite round. What's going on? Bizarro. Wait, Bizarro. No, Bizarro. Also, add in, add in St Kilda are fun. Yeah, well. Oh, <laughs> what, what the hell? <laughs> no, no, no. That's the craziest thing of all time. time. <laughs> That's just the Maybe weirdest gone. weekend of all time. It is. is a great it's call. Oh, my all God. All right. Moving on. It is time for Ladder Check. Oh, Essendon fans' favourite time of the <laughs> Here we on go. On top of the table, somehow, disgracefully, my beloved Sydney Swans. Oh, they're not as big fifty-six of a points. Have that lost four of, their, taken a four of their last five. They lost four percent today. Their percentage is still. It's going to be still very hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the percentage of one thirty-seven going to be very hard. Point nine, actually, yeah, very hard to catch from here. But losing four of their last five, kicking their lowest score of the year, and I think gave up their second biggest score of the year today as well. Not ideal, no. but we'll You're touch still on, fine, We'll yeah. touch on that later. Yep. Brisbane Lions charged up into second. All of a sudden, that's ah, crazy. The draw doesn't matter, said some fans. The draw absolutely matters. They're in second. Yep. Awesome win with no defenders. Good stuff. Fremantle. They survived the scuffle, the disgusting pitch, everything that was going on in WA overnight. Got the job done. Gave their percentage a last nice little nudge. They've won four of their last five as well. They're nice. cooking. They're flying. Speaking of not flying. Oh, Jesus. Oh, they're, they're almost out of the four. Carlton. They could miss the finals. Have lost. <laughs> oh, that would be so. Carlton. Have lost three of their last four. And as Jim said, I, I listened to the shows while I was dying. Oh, that's nice. I, I listened to the shows Thank because you. I Thank enjoyed you. the content. Our good friend. <laughs> you listen to the cricket show? No. <laughs> <laughs> I got him. Yeah. I listened to the AFL show. I listened to the yeah. stuff I'm interested yeah. in. I don't want to rewatch the cricket uh, show. So I'm yeah. doing it. <laughs> as Jim said when we were talking to Lockie McCurdy on the Wednesday show, you guys were... Jim was like, yeah, like the Swans, yeah, they're losing games, but at least they play three good quarters. That's true. Yeah. Carlton, Carlton, on they the play other hand, one good quarter. Play one good quarter every week. And then three horrendous quarters. Yeah. They, they did that again on Friday. They oh. did. They are now down to fourth after looking like they were top two certainties. Yeah, we literally said three weeks ago, yeah, top two certainties. And now they, yeah. they're literally, yep. what are they, one spot in the eight. Well, sorry, one win inside the eight. 
Yeah, state that's is Zambia. great. Percentage. Staff guy that that you could say that equals seventh if you really wanted to be smart. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Into fifth, GWS Giants. They've won four in a row. Held off a fast finish yeah, in Melbourne. Yeah. But you know what? They're winning. They've won. They had to get over the line, yeah. They're winning <laughs> on the road. They've knocked off Carton. They're doing it all. Geelong steadied the ship against North Melbourne after. The margin did not do that game. No, no we'll, we'll get into we'll that. Get into that. Yeah, you know, yeah. they won. They still won. Port Adelaide. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. They're, they're, they are equal fourth. I Ken, still don't trust them. Ken's like, alive. Ken's alive. They could beat Sydney this week, and I just would not trust I know. them still. Don't ruin my birthday, Leo. Uh, <laughs> and then birthday. the Western Bulldogs with that massive win over the Sydney Swans. They were awesome. Yep. Absolutely demolished the Swans from the first bounce. Ten minutes in, I was texting friends of mine going, dogs are going to smash it. And they did. That was awesome. They're good. Yeah. Like we've said it for a couple of weeks. Like, yeah, the, if they start to actually win these games, yeah, okay. They've, and they're beating good teams. We can, yeah. we can officially <clears throat> say that we believe in the Western Bulldogs now. You oh, knock off Carlton. They've, you go to Geelong and beat Geelong. You go to Sydney who and the, smash who the Swans. They this week. We've always had the tools. Yep. We've just always been like, come on. Yeah. Well, they, when was the last, when did they make the grand final last? 2021? 2021. Yeah. yeah. So they did that again. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, that year. Hawthorne, they're up to ninth Let's after go. a big win over the Crom. They're coming. Leo is up and about up percentage. A little bit of a percentage boost too. Yeah, up to 104. Yeah, not bad. 104.5. The best team in the AFL, the Essendon Bomberace. <laughs> oh, no. Have lost. They're out of the eight. Six. You really hate to see this. <laughs> you hate it. Six of their last eight. Oh, say up. it again. Say it again. They've lost <laughs> six oh, of their busy. last eight. It's busy to my ears. Their that percentage. So Sorry, Essendon fans. In the bottom oh, eight, they are only better percentage-wise then. The West Coast Eagles, North Melbourne, and Richmond. What do those three a- teams t- take position on the ladder, gentlemen? Uh, North would be up there, wouldn't they? No, no, no. <laughs> no, 16, 17, and 18. <laughs> bottom three. Bottom, yeah, three. bottom three. Melbourne, down to 11th after a loss. Uh, there, They are very shaky. Yeah. We'll get on to that. Collingwood, they needed a win. They got it against Richmond. Yeah. Never going to get beaten. They only won by Did five what they goals. needed to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gold Coast. Had a chance to make finals, blown it. Start planning your footy trip. 13th now. 13th! 13th! 13. 13. 13. Oh, trauma, trauma. Trauma, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, St. Oh, yeah, Kilda, I don't want to talk about that. Uh, St. Kilda up to 14th with their win. So they, these lines of demarcation, apart from probably Hawthorne, do feel right. Yeah. Because yeah. everyone Bulldogs below the still, Western Bulldogs, still, you know, they're yeah. eighth. Everyone below the Western Bulldogs, you're like, yeah, not good. Hawthorne, I'd be like, yeah, you're kind of good, so believe it. Everyone below St. Kilda, they stink. Adelaide, they just got blitzed. Did they kick a goal in the second half? They kicked two in the last two minutes. Okay, there oh, we go. Junk time. I, yeah, I walked I walked away for those two minutes. Uh, West Coast, off. not playing well. Richmond, uh, horrendous, and I skipped North Melbourne in 17th. Because... Yeah, because we're going to come up to 16th <laughs> next week. <laughs> we be at Richmond. <laughs> You're still three percentage points behind West Oh, Coast. we win by 40 plus. Yeah. That's pretty easy to get 33%, isn't it? All right. <laughs> <coughs> Moving on to event session oh, fraud I'm watch. Just gonna, I'm just going to stand There's back. a bloody essay <laughs> event session today. What's going on here? Let's start with the frauds. <laughs> Should we time him? Jim would be proud to be fair. He'd Do we want to start with the frauds? Let's we'll start with the frauds. So let's start from Friday. Fraud, fraud yep. watch, yeah. Carlton. Yeah, fraud we're, watch. We're putting them on fraud watch, aren't we? No, Absolutely. They were there for me when they just beat North Melbourne last week. To yeah, okay. That's fair. why I didn't tip them. Fair. Yep, fair. Essendon. Yeah, that's an easy one. Absolutely yep. frauds. Getting smashed by 50 points by St Kilda. Making St Kilda look like elite, an elite, <laughs> talented running hey, football hey, team. Hey, hey, they are. What, in 15th or whatever they are? <laughs> Where are they? 14th. 14th. The, oh, Gold, oh. Coast, the Gold Coast Suns. Frauds. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. They can't even win a home anymore. So I mean, I, what are they going to do? I think if Gold Coast lose, who are they playing next week? They're playing West, West Coast, Coast on Friday. If, West, West if they Coast. lose to West Coast next Friday, no, we can move them to fraud from frauds to pathetic. I thought you were going to say move them to a different state or something. <laughs> <laughs> they can't. Move them to Tassie. Yeah, but also, them. remember they were going to change like their, their kits and they're going to have like a redesign next year, of the I logo? Think, yeah, yeah. You can't do that soon enough because mm. it's just bland. It's Microsoft Paint. It's boring. It's like Stats Guy's <laughs> six year old cousin did it. I don't have a six year old cousin, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> Making up stuff. <laughs> And my beloved Sydney Swans. Oh, oh, he's calling them frauds. They don't look like the flag uh, favourites anymore. So they've lost four of their last five. I like the honesty. They smashed North Melbourne. A kick. No, just a little, a little <laughs> yeah. digger there. Like, no, they like, did. Yeah, they yeah. did. A kick the either way in. You mean stiff in, in lots three of them, games? Yeah, yeah. They've won. There was a free kick that probably should have been paid to the Swans in the last fifteen seconds last week that would have allowed them to have a shot at goal. Didn't get paid, whatever. But he also Will Haywood missed uh, the yeah. As, as, as you have said, been stiff. The tunneling free kick, St Kilda, that was bad. Fremantle, you know, you have a kick after the siren to win it, you don't. Yeah. So yeah. you look at it like things bounce the Swans' way. They're probably what sixteen or seventeen and two. Yeah, uh, eighteen yeah. and two, yeah. seventeen and two, Could whatever. It be is. seventeen and one. Yeah. So <laughs> it's crazy. theoretically, like today aside. I just need to see the Swans win. Yeah. Who and you next, got next week, week? Next week, we'll get to that. Oh, sorry, you're going to talk about it. Yeah, that. because this is leading there on to the vent. So, 
Next Saturday is August the 3rd. It, it happens to be one of the greatest days in the history of mankind. There we go. It's my birthday. <laughs> yeah, oh, a bit of a head wobble. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's my birthday next Saturday. So I'm going to the pub to watch the Swans play Port Adelaide. Yep. The Sydney Swans are playing <laughs> in Adelaide against Port Adelaide at 7.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard well, that's Time. That's a good time. Huge <laughs> matchup. Great matchup. This is first versus whatever the hell Port are. Seventh. Thank you. You want to know what happens at the exact same time in Melbourne next Saturday night? I have Saturday my night. 20th drink of the day. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, you'll we'll be under the table. <laughs> Carlton. That's two steins. Play Collingwood at the MCG. Oh, my, oh yeah, I'm going to that, actually. Also yeah, happens to be Scott Pendlebury's 400th game. Well, yeah. Let's, yeah. Jesus. Now, let's add and, in. And I'm still Top four on. chances for Carlton are on the line. <laughs> Collingwood's finals chances on the line. Yep. Swans trying to prove they're not frauds. Yep. On top of the ladder. Port Adelaide. Trying to get into the top four, even though they're equal fourth, you know what we mean. Now, why is this an issue or event, you ask me, boys? Because they're both good teams. Because the goddamn fixture was floating <laughs> until six weeks ago, and they decided to put these on at the exact same time. You know what was happening six weeks ago, Stats Guy? Uh, no. <laughs> the Swans were first, Carlton was second, Port were fourth, and the Pies were ninth. Oh, my God. Why are these games starting at the exact same it's time? So we're trying to grow the game and be like, hey, watch footy. It's awesome. You know what we're going to do? Make sure you can't watch the footy <laughs> because people like me, who are footy lovers and absolute nuffs, would love to watch someone like Scott Penderbury in his Absolutely. 400th game and also against Carlton. Collingwood and Carlton, it's like cats and dogs. It's great. <laughs> it's awesome. You love watching it because both fans hate it. It's great. Yep. Why are they the exact same time? That You've got a game wild. in Adelaide that could start at 7.40 Adelaide time, a.k.a. 8.10 Australian Eastern Standard Time. Therefore, you can catch a bit of both games. You are taking the game away from the fans. Old mate from Canada who can't speak, as well as the Australian, the AFL uh, fixture guy. <laughs> you don't deserve yeah, your got jobs. Yeah, got that, you guys. You don't deserve your jobs. <laughs> like, you are absolutely pathetic at it. I Add agree. In, You've got a double header next Friday night as well. What are we doing? <laughs> yeah. Play no, games on Thursday night and Monday night. Yeah. Don't create a fixture problem like this. It's like, hey, we want to grow the game. Actually, you know what? Screw the fans. We're going to do everything at the same time. The two <laughs> biggest games are going to happen at the exact same time. It is Times are tough. People can't afford KO or Foxtel. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, so when are the games? Yeah, the same time, mate. What are you talking about? Can we just give a shout out to Gerald behind the camera? Oh, he's a mic sound. management there. That Good was management. Well done, Gerald. Great job. You're the MVP. I think I'm having a strike. <laughs> All right, oh, you're hosting. I thought no, it was just burnt toast. I was cooking, cooking some stuff over there. <laughs> anyway, I'm one of those teams back. that's playing on Saturday night is Port Adelaide. They beat Carlton on Friday night. Stats guy, I need a drink. All right, well, you can you can relax. Oh. Leo and I will take it from here. The whole rest of the show. <laughs> Cricket today. Let's go. <laughs> Do you have anything to yell about? Uh, no, no, I no. think you covered it. You I, agree. Agree. I agree. So, yeah, Friday night was the first one. Carlton, 9 11 65. Port Adelaide, 11 13 79. Carlton, awesome in the first uh, quarter and a half, I'd say. Second quarter. Second quarter, they Second were amazing. Quarter they came to life. Got up by 31. Cripps and Walsh were amazing out of the middle. Kerno was the damaging, especially <laughs> yeah. in that second quarter. Also, he definitely gets umpired differently. Yeah, no. Oh, the amount of free kicks. I There is a lot no, so, so the there, one, so but. They're there. Yeah. They get paid. Mm. But you notice other forwards don't get yeah, them yeah. paid to them. Yeah, no, I agree with that. So I'm not saying that it's free kick Charlie. I feel like he's players like him. I think Bontempelli's the same. They umpired a bit differently, and it's more favorably yeah. for them. I don't think they do it on purpose. Just like oh, these big names. It's but just the a, other one is Charlie. They kick it to Charlie, especially when Harry's out. Every single oh, time. My God. So like so reliant. that was that was the part of the reason. So they're up by 31. <laughs> obviously lost the game unbelievably, but they just kept kicking it to Charlie when he had three people on him mm. every time. They, they got a lot was, of good really small. Small forwards, at least cheek it to another pack, bring it to ground, and you got it's very oh, he's a good small forward. They, they targeted him twelve mm. times. I think the next best was four. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's, just, it's 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 this this problem this one's had with Buddy back in the day. Is it yeah, buddy. too Buddy centric. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's something that is we can see now that it is a problem for them. The biggest problem for Carlton is their defense sucks. Yeah. yeah, other than Weedering, you they've literally got no one. Second key, but, he's, but he's half line. Yeah, he, he, he still was all right. Camp is very shaky because he was on Dixon like, and Dixon did nothing. But why is yeah. Chera at half back? I know Chera at half back. Like, there was a t stage where I was like, all right, you can start him half back because you got a lot of good mids. Then they'll lose him in the middle. Yeah, put him in the midfield. His best position clearance. is his midfield. Is the midfield, 100%. and they've already got Saad back there. They've got Lockie Cowan has been all right. Mm -hmm. Nick Newman is a good kick as well. Yep. They don't need Chera at half back. No, Get I him agree. in the midfield. Mm. Yeah. 
I was going to say Port's defense I just wrote here was really, was awesome. Man, Bergman, Bergman was Bergman. That's I think that's the best game he's ever played in his life. Yeah, uh, he was awesome. Uh, yeah, he was he was great. I love watching him. Lots of intercept marks. Lear as well. Yep, now Alir Port. This is why I tipped him, lads. They have now won eleven of the last twelve at Marvel. Yeah, yeah right. but the last time they lost was to Carlton last year. But and that, they got absolutely that was thumped. a weird game when Carlton like were unstoppable for like. Was Carlton was second going into yeah. this weekend, so it's not like it's a completely different scenario. Yeah, but, Carlton are but coming but off a win. They should play at Marvel instead of Adelaide Oval. They they have a much better record there than anywhere else. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Also, Zach Butters was doing his absolute best not to punch the living hell out of Chincotta. I know. He's or he's got Chincotta the most fines. Job. Yeah. He's got the most fines in AFL history now, but Zach Butters. It's he's also there. these things, these are the ones where you where we've got the four umpires, and this happens to every player that gets tagged. You need to be paying attention to the players that are getting the tag because they're getting ripped down, they're getting they get pulled, pulled back. I hate it. There's yeah. free kicks it. there every time. If like it's I know, hard. When they're like side of the but contest. But it's also, you've got four umpires. I'm sure you true, can have an true. umpire on the other side of, of yeah. the contest. 40 meters, I got, let go of Zach Butters. Mm. Let him go. Don't free do it. Guy. Free, free you guy. But yeah. also, not, not <laughs> that, but it's just, it's you know, you can put body contact and blocks on, yeah. but not rip them down and scraggle them all day. So I can understand why he wants to punch him. So it's yes. fair. But we have worries about Carlton. Like we said, their defense is an issue, but now it's their forward line as well. When you've got Charlie Kerno kicking through, I know Kennedy popped up with a couple. Always has been pretty good all year, but he was very good. He all had weekend. six touches. Yeah, he was good. Forward line problems. They're like they're just going to be like, oh, Mackay's back. We'll just plug a but hole it's, in but it. It's, and they've got two targets. But it's yeah. also yeah, their it's entries. Get, it's, it'll get better. It's, they get the ball and they just bomb it Sam every Walsh time. kicks it off his shin every know, time, and it's an atmosphere breaker. Yeah, it's they are at their best when when it's the mosquito fleet when they're just. Flipping it around, handballing it, and if Kerno's getting it seventy out and he's finding a space, so he's a great lead up kick. Yeah. yeah, but it's just center half forward. He's probably he yeah. probably is better at center half forward when he's taking those he's long gonna, shots. He's going to turn into what Lance Franklin was late in his career, Pushing taking up the marks seventy, eighty. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. he might kick three or four a game. But he's if to be for his team to have their best chance of winning, he needs to take ten marks, have fifteen touches, mm. and have about seven inside fifties. Are yeah. we worried? Uh, actually, should we get into the, 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 how the fan base? Yeah, is well, that's feeling? of course yeah. how the fan. Carlton fans are stressed. That's yeah. what I was going to say. They, Jim's they, always stressed though. Yeah, yeah well, no, but but more than yeah, usual. Yeah, like yeah. I was, a friend of mine that's a Carlton fan was like, Alex, what's happening? I was like, you're Carltoning it. Like you, yeah. Expectations, disappointment. Well, yeah, yeah. the fact that they're only yeah, so you got forty eight points, and then eighth, ninth is forty four. So only one win yeah. sort of in the eight. That is unbelievable. And they should have had a second. Percentage. So they'll be worried, yeah. I don't think they can win the grand final. No, no, no. God, no. Their defense, nah, anymore, their defense no. is terrible. And like, then, that's the biggest problem. If if Weeders goes down, and I think a lot of Carlton fans would agree, they are gone. Yeah, yeah 100%. I think they're gone. They're, anyway. they're, they yeah. are a chance of doing what the Demons did two years ago, straight sets. Yeah. The, yep. way the, the way they're faltering at the finish line. Crazy. Port Adelaide, Ken enough. Ken yeah, Ken enough. Ken enough. <laughs> 10 more years. Give, they, give us more Ken. I don't Toshi, think they're saying that, yet, but, but they're, people are back on the Ken bag. I think, yeah. Port fans are probably convinced. I'm still not convinced. I'm not convinced, but the, they're playing at least a good brand. Like on the weekend, they, they didn't toughed it out. It was I, an ugly they didn't rely it was on Butters. Or, yeah. It was, but they didn't rely on Butters and Rosie in the past. Yeah. You'd be like, all right, they have to have 30 each for them to win. They didn't have. They didn't rely yeah. on them. The building of Holly Francis was weird. He didn't play. I think for it's because um, the Jack Silvani fight. Oh Jesus, Carlton have no, no, no. I'm yeah, not, I'm I think not you're trying right. to no, like. I'm just trying to say the well, reason. Yeah, yeah, I don't agree with the reason, but yeah, weird. Nah, boo him. All right. Saturday, we went to Hobart. Weird things happened we in Hobart. I wish I, I was this, going to, but I didn't. Yeah. Not this time. This felt kind of normal. Geelong beat North Melbourne by 40 points. Side note, well done to Geelong on the kit change. No no kick clash. It was it was a good kick clash. Ah, oh, sorry. No kick clash. It yeah. did look really nice. With the revert, they just reversed their colours. Pretty simple. You know yep. what you should do? Do that every year. You want to know why? You can still There was kids, a bit of a kick clash money. Collingwood Richmond today. I don't, at the uh, ground, it felt I like that. Watch Watching it on TV, it didn't was, feel bad. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. At the ground, it felt a bit weird, but... Anyway, yeah, Harry Sheas was going to win a Brownlow medal before Nick Dacos. There oh! you go. Oh! That was my... What if Nick Dacos wins it this year? <laughs> was not. He won't win. No, going to win the Brownlow this year from Patrick oh, Cripps and Mark I hope Pontotelli. so. I've got money on Gould. Uh, no, Sheasel, rules. Stats guy, take it away. Yeah, Sheasel, I'll actually get into him a bit more with his stats for best on ground. That's a bit of a spoiler there. But this game, I think Leo even said this before the show, was a lot closer. Uh, as a North fan, I was pretty I happy even though it was a 40 point loss. In the third quarter. The third quarter, we got it back to two, no, sorry, three ten goals. Points. Ten points. Or ten points. There you go. I forgot if it was 10 or um, 15 points, but it was, yeah. yeah, 10 points. And then the last two and a half minutes, we let Geelong score like three goals. It's yeah. just like a classic young team. Two goals in the last 30 seconds. Absolutely that brutal. Snap. That Sten Stengel was the difference yeah. uh, in terms of, yeah, the goal kicking. He was he had all three of his goals were probably going to be the uh, goal of the week that we're going to do for a social clip, I reckon. But all yeah. three of his goals were just unbelievable. He was really good. Stewart as well. Stewart, he was playing yeah. as midfielder that would um, set up, zone uh, set up zone, a zone off. He,
that that dude with the hair. No, not that one. The they're, one with the tattoos. Their best player they in like all the last alike. six years. Not yeah. Zach Tui, the yeah. one with the headband. Yeah, the other guy. Yes, that guy. <laughs> Yeah, man got, him up. You definitely got to man him up. I'm surprised Clarko, that was pretty frustrating that we just let him run around man, you didn't, all you didn't day. Tag Errol or Chad Warner. So they tried to put Phillips ago. on him, but that's just a horrible matchup. It's Phillips is half his height. Yeah. Anyway, uh, North, yeah, North actually did pretty well, but then yeah, the likes of uh yeah, Stewart was awesome. And then and then as I said, Stengel was really good. Larky, the, he was the uh, savior for the crowd. <laughs> so he had to kick three goals. He knew before the game. Uh, Maccas did a uh, sponsorship thing where if Larky kicks three goals, yeah. everyone in the crowd gets free cheeseburgers. <laughs> and Larky, Larky, when he got his third, he went, went to the crowd like this. Hur, 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 what about Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he should have bought those uh, servers at Maccas. Uh, but they got me now. <laughs> <laughs> so that was that was awesome. Larky Zeus knew, Creek Street, what are you doing? He, he knew the assignment. He was in the last quarter. Yeah. We were getting smashed. Nice. And he still had a bit of a laugh with the crowd. And the crowd's all cheering. Like Even Geelong fans were cheering because they got free cheeseburgers. Yeah, so love uh, I love a bit of super. Well done, mate. Big Ollie Henry game. Yeah, it, Ollie Dempsey, Ollie Henry. Oh, Henry, I was going to get on a Dempsey. Dempsey actually. was really good as well. Yeah, um, yeah well, actually, Wardlaw, I was a bit worried that he could get a week and yeah, not yeah, get a yeah, rising star that trip, but yeah. apparently he just got a fine. He got a fine. He got yeah. a fine. Okay. Uh, but Ollie Dempsey also went, hey, rising star. I think high, he's going to win it. High, yeah. High, yeah, I reckon Dempsey's, I think Dempsey's nosed in front of the moment. Also, oh. Zane Dersma has to start every week for North Melbourne well, from that, now on. As a North fan, that's the first time he's had impact the on the game is, in a long I time. But we, I think next week he will. When he starts, he fades out in games. Yeah. He comes yeah. On he's as an impact player. Impact. But, also, give Slevo a new contract, centre half back. Oh, no, he was no, so bad. He, 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 had like, he, had, okay. he had a lot of touches, but he turned it over so many times. Yeah. Like He'll probably be dropped, I reckon, this week. For yeah. Fisher? Bang. Yeah. Um, anything else there? Take this. I know Matter from Heaven was good again. Yeah, he's been perfect for super coach. He was all right. He was all right. Kicked two goals, but that's what I mean. He's one doing goal his was job. gifted because North couldn't kill the football. Yeah. Did you see two of those? He, yes, two of those. there was a some really bad. Just rush the ball, North. What, yeah. I was screaming at the TV. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> how are the two bad, uh, fan bases feeling after North, that one? North are just like uh, we, I, we tried. I genuinely, don't think it was that bad. I I, I this, honestly yeah. think. Geelong, seven of their 16 goals are easily preventable. Well, the first Genuinely. half, we dominated inside 50s. We just we just couldn't hit a target. We kept you're inside, it. You're inside oh, 50. Horrible. Use was terrible. So that, that's what cost us. If we can clean that up, I'm so happy with our midfield. Yeah. I'm so happy with the back line since Griffin Logue's come back as well. Yep. He's changed that whole I think back line. the back line, it gets out the back a bit easy. Yeah, because yeah. we're very slow. Yes. But, but at least we've got two bigs now. So yeah. The thing that. is with North, it's like if you had a decent running half back and you have like two yeah. half decent half forwards... North can win like eight, nine games. Well, that's why that. I, it's like you, yeah. there's you don't need any more midfielders. It no, is literally for me, it's literally half forwards. It's half like forward, if you yeah. get, it, like uh, for a comparison, it's like if they could get Dylan Moore and yeah, Nick Blake. Literally, yeah, they're we're, the two players at either end. Yeah, not lazy like Zerhart. But yeah, as exactly. but as a Swans and Hawthorne comparison, yeah, if they had Blakey and We'd Dylan win the Moore, flag. Well, you wouldn't win the flag, but you'd probably <laughs> win, win a lot more you, games. Yeah, you would charge up the ladder. I agree. The most important position on the ground is half forward, and every good team has great half forwards. North don't. That's yeah, true. They need to invest in that area. That's of the true. Ground. And yep. then uh, Geelong, I think they got the Geelong job done. Like, yeah, yeah. They weren't that convincing, but weird things happen in Tassie. They got yeah, the job done. Like, hey. And they're up to six, so they'll, they'll be happy. They can't complain. And we're like, that. Gary Owen got knocked out again. That's cool, I guess. He always gets knocked out, doesn't yeah, he? He's yeah, he's weird. Very accident. Yeah. yeah. Gold Coast, 28th uh, parallel. Uh, defeated, sad. broken, finito. Stick the trumpet up, your clacker, boys. <laughs> Prison <laughs> Lions, <laughs> 93. <laughs> beat the Gold Coast, 65. I honestly saw none of this game, so Neither. I was watching oh, the other I, game. I was watching the other game too. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I watched it. I, watched, I, I actually watched. I actually did watch this game. I, I watched the mini this morning. Um, I was half asleep on the couch after footy, but I did watch it. I, I would be <laughs> like. I'd be like, why? Why are you letting Zorko just? Yeah, get he the was awesome. Free? Zorko Is he first half on Ben King. No, um, Harry Kipwood was playing on Ben King. Harry Kipwood so was playing on the, Ben King. For someone that actually did watch the game, yes. Harry Kipwood played on Ben King. Ben King had about five shots again. One goal, three. I said he'd kick five. Yeah, be cool. he probably should have kicked five. Damn it. Uh, Eric Kipwood played on him. Because before the game, Fakes is like, uh, they were interviewing him. They're like, Fakes, who's going to play on him? You've got a few bigs. You've got a few medium-sized defenders. Mm. They're like, He's like, Hipwood. <laughs> and they're like, don't you need to kick goals? He's like, nah. Oh, right. Dana. And yeah. Hipwood did not know what he was doing. Like, he was going up for marks and then would drop him. He wasn't, he, did, he never sported That's anything. just him normally. Ben King, <laughs> is, ben King has turned into Max King lately and forgot how to kick. He should they have had three goals. They freaky Friday. We know yeah. this. So they, yeah, they, ben, they peed in the Yarra at the same time. That cost them being in this game. Brisbane definitely played a lot better. They had so many scoring shots. They had four, Brisbane should have smashed this. They had four players kick two plus goals. Yep. So very shared. That, that shows how like... That their depth is going at the I moment. I hate that Cam Rainer's now like a really good footballer. He was always going to be, I think. Yeah, the last month he's been he's amazing, just, yeah. He, he, <laughs> he acts like, like a prick. He does a bit, yeah. yeah. But yeah. he's a gun. He's a gun. He's he's
I, oh, hate, yeah. I hate him and I hate Kyle Loman. Do you hate the Gabba? <laughs> Why well, are you Gabba? letting Kyle Loman so, get uh, under your skin? The problem, no, no, <laughs> the young kid, no, no, so not because of, not because of Kyle Loman. Just He's probably hair. a lovely dude. But <laughs> the people that I was sitting next to, Anytime Kyle Lehman went near the ball, go Kai, get it, Maybe go, it was his mum. What if it was his mum? So, oh my God, he's had four touches. Shut the hell up, lady. <laughs> Alex turned around and goes, stuff you, Kyle Lehman. And it's like, I'm his mum. <laughs> no, it was some girl and uh, her partner next to He is a beautiful man. He is a beautiful man. Is he? Yeah, oh, he's just the hair. He's got cool hair. Oh, you've got oh, terrible yeah. taste. Oh, yeah. Anyway, Sorry, so that's head, why yeah. I don't like Kyle Lehman. I also hate Country Road with a passion. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. That's good. I, I like, like it. it. I like it. No, the because they then. keep singing it when it goes <laughs> into like, like they're still singing. The ball's the ball, I like up. that, yeah. The Swans get a set of clearance and go, oh, take me home. It's like, Errol Golden. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, any, oh we, anyway, we're talking about this game. Stupid Sexy Flanders. Just having a one, crack again. One forty super coach as well. I was happy with yeah. him. And this was a very average game from one Noah Anderson. This was the mm. game I was looking for this, him to step up. This felt like they were playing when when they play away and all their players' stats drop off. That's what it felt like. Yeah. It was. It, it didn't feel like they were playing at home at all. Brisbane just looked unstoppable at the moment. They that was really close up until the last quarter, and they sort of kicked away a little bit. Um, yeah, but I don't think. And that's the other. Are one. we concerned that Brisbane are like they've? Tri- it's, it's it's sort of like Carlton Sydney. Last year, I think GWS was a bit different because GWS you always knew you could do it. Same, similar to Brisbane, but they've done so much work chasing mm. that they're going to run out. That's of what I'm worried about with Hawthorne. I think Brisbane and you Brisbane are have so much depth as well. Because yeah. if Brisbane get the double chance, they yeah, can but the stuff thing is, up you've still, but you've still, they've still got like a very long injury list. If Harris Andrews gets mm. hurt again, like if Oscar goes down, like there's bits and pieces that are you know a worry. Like, they're Don't making do right now. They're yeah. the premiership favorite, in my opinion. Ooh. I still have Sydney. Who are, I'd still go. Yeah, I'm still Sydney from Brisbane. Sydney. I'm who, Brisbane. Who are, who are from the premiership Sydney. favorites? Let's have a quick. Look. It'd be Brisbane. And I'd Sydney be very happy with a Sydney Brisbane grand final. I would be too. So I definitely we'll get, get tickets. Into the game. Anyway, yeah, uh, fan bases. Gold Coast. Like, yeah, we're a fake club. We don't have a fan exist. base. I got a mate that goes for them. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 he's not happy. He, he he's been not happy for ten years, but that's all right. They just they honestly need to completely redesign the logo, the kits. I reckon that'll be the new vibes. The, yeah. Should they change the name? The vibes are terrible the at the Gold Coast. We did a we did a vibes uh, yeah, I saw ranking. That. Yeah, yeah, Hawthorne we're, commented. They're we're last. Gold Coast. Hawthorne, yeah, uh, thank you very much yeah. for the Hawthorne football club. They, they commented on the handsome list. They were complaining that Will Day wasn't oh, there. I did that. I did that. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah. There we go. So Hawthorne, good friends of ours on TikTok. Uh, <laughs> Brisbane fans, like yeah, this rules. Like we're awesome. Awesome. Yeah, mm. pretty much. Saturday Twilight. Oh, da 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 who kicked weirdly accurately, 17-6, 108. Oh, my so God. So where do we want to start with this? Do we want to start Gosh. with Essendon and end on the high of St Kilda? Or do we want to... I can we start with St Kilda? Start right. with St Kilda. And build to the best part of Danny. Okay. <laughs> Cooper Sharman rules. Oh, he's awesome. Yeah. He's, he's Nick so Rewalt reincarnated. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. It's not that good. But <laughs> <We're> just, <laughs> they, might, they might be cousins somewhere. Yeah. Like, like Matthias Filippo is Lenny Hayes. It's the yeah. same thing. They're doing it without... <laughs> well, I was thinking at the start of this game, I was like, man... St Kilda or just like Liam Henry or Pooh away from destroying this game, and then they just went and did it. Yeah. That was uh, I can't believe the they. I looked at this guy. I just had. A, I was just laughing. Yeah. I was just like that is unbelievable. So Jack Steele kicked three goals. Anthony Caminiti's like oh, I'm going to take marks and kick goals. Caminiti's a good player. I said that during the week. He's a big in. And Tim Membry's popped up, kicked a couple of goals. Jack Higgins was there. Butler stepped up. Like everyone from St Kilda did their job. Uh, Wanganeen Malira, I thought was he's phenomenal. A freak, yeah. awesome. He's been good all year. Letting like Wanganeen Malira and Bradley Hill just go, hey, football, we're going to run turtles like, <laughs> off the halfback and half yeah, the yeah. flanks. Probably not an ideal scenario, <clears throat> like if you're an opposition coach. No. They generally had their own footy. Wanganeen Malira had 30. 31. 31, yeah. yeah. And Brad Hill was great. Uh, I thought Rowan Marshall was absolutely dominant Man, in the run. He taught Draper a lesson. Yeah. Draper's and Jack crap. Steele, so handsome. He is. He is. That's God, why he he's good goals. looking. I'd give a lot to look 1%. Oh, like yeah. Jack oh, if they're going to say something else there. <laughs> I'd give a lot to have Jack Steele at footy club. Yeah, okay. yeah, he was great. Can we get him on the show just to look at him? i tell you what. <laughs> the podcast just sounds like. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah. I'll tell you what, we've got a couple of St. Kilda fans in the office. That'd be kind of weird. Uh, but no, this game so was awesome. great. Like, but you have like everyone else, like Jack Sinclair still had a bunch of the footies. It's like Zach Jones didn't have his 17 horrendous turnovers in the game. Eight freeze against. It was yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> Cameron Wilkie was just like oh, clunk. Yeah. Clunk. Yeah. They just looked 
They look like they're, they're themselves from last year. They made finals last year where no, they were playing is, really attacking better than last year. It did look better than last year. If they year. played like they did against the Swans yeah. and like this, they are a top eight team. Yeah. The, the biggest thing for me with the Saints is they just took away Essendon's uncontested marks. Oh, yeah. And it's just so clear Essendon don't have a plan B. Like they're, they their like plan to chip it around, is to yeah. chip it around, yeah. uncontested mark, get the handball receive. Mm -hmm. You shut that down. They don't have any plan B whatsoever, Essendon. So St. Kilda only had 43 inside 50s and kicked 17 goals. That's wild. That is efficient. Yeah, that is awesome. We can get on to Essendon's their, back line. Their efficiency inside fifty was sixty five percent disposal compared to Essendon's thirty seven. Cool. And then you just have a look, like everywhere, it was just an absolute dominance. Like uncontested possessions was two seventy four to two seventeen. Yeah, the turnover one hundred and forty nine marks to a hundred, which is bang on Essendon's average for the year. Okay, but St Kilda's average is bang on a hundred, so they've just upped mm. it. It's what they did against the Swans, just chip, 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 chip. And yeah, they, yeah. they you have lots of speed off half back, which they haven't really utilized all year. And they finally, been, it, you should be able to do yeah. that at Marvel with the, the um, yeah, flight track. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I, uh, Wang and Miller also had six score involvements. Marshall, we said he was dominant. We had eight clearances and 30 hit outs as well. Like, cool. He killed it. Essendon. Let's go. Right all right. <sighs> Where's the edge? I have literally written down here. Where is the Essendon edge? Round 11, Essendon was second. And people like, they're setting themselves up for the top four. They're playing They're crap teams. Finish. I never They're believed. They're going to finish second. I never believed. Everyone here at the AFL Today Show, including Jim, who says they're the greatest team in the AFL, <laughs> we've been saying all year that Essendon are false. Like, yeah. everything about them we've is false. We've copped a lot. We've from copped from a lot Essendon of fans. Yeah. Essendon fans all year have been into us. We've been pretty brutal. So, oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, the fans have been pretty brutal, so we're going to get into it now. So, Send them down. They've man. lost. They've <laughs> lost. All right. Okay, it's not like cricket today, mate. <laughs> so this is where we clip it up, Gerald. So this is where you note it down and get Leo to clip this one up tomorrow. Oh. They were second in round 11. It is now round 20 and they're out of the eight. They've lost three straight and six of their last eight. Now, uh, what Brad Scott last week said, oh, it's about the process. About say, and, he, and he's not a resultist. And we're not, re not a resultist. <laughs> well, you need to be a resultist, mate. <laughs> what are you doing? You, you give me a keep losing, then that's a result. That's a bad result, Brad. I'll tell you what bad matters result. in a sport where wins and losses matter. This isn't professional wrestling where, you know, it's staged. You wish it was. And No, I don't. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, where it's where, you know, you can all of a sudden be like, you're going to win 15 matches in a row and become the world champion. Exactly. This is the real world. That's all rigged. And your processes are clearly pathetic. Yep. Your team does not want to be there. Two metre Peter took one mark. Langford and Caddy, two behinds between them, including two metre Peter, all of them. Two touch Peter. Less than 10 possessions. No impact on the game. Darcy Parrish looks as fast as stats guy in the third division. Hey, 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 hey. I'm the quickest in the hey, third that's division. Pretty, that's not pretty fast. <laughs> Sam Draper is the most overhyped, underskilled yeah. ruckman in the AFL at the moment. If he wasn't tall, he wouldn't be on a list. Ooh. Without Nick Martin and Zach Merritt, Lost this team fan, yeah. would be 15th. They are no uh, good. Yeah. They do nah. not want to be there. They are not trying. And your third quarter showed it. You had zero Hardball gets in the third quarter. How Zero. do you do that in half an hour of football and let St Kilda, no offence St Kilda, but you're not that great. You let St <laughs> Kilda kick seven goals. It was a nine-point lead to the Saints at yep. halftime. It's like, Essendon, if they're the real deal, they They'll come out a few goals, and they're yeah. going to get into the game. You were down by 45 points at three-quarter time. Even Saints fans. <laughs> we're doing vent sesh again. Yeah, this is back. Yeah. To be fair, Saints fans would, would agree with you, like, that no way should they have won by that much. No way. Well, the Saints fans, I, I thought could win. Sorry, Saints, I thought could win, but no way I thought they were going to smash them. That so is, that's crazy. Essendon fans, yes, be absolutely disappointed and let down once again by your team, expertly raising your hopes and Very then jashing them Every once again. Every year this happens. Don't abuse the players, though. That's not cool. Yeah, I hated when they don't down now, the race. You, now, Every you, team does that, no, unfortunately. You can critique performances and mm. call out people who are playing badly, but when they're walking down the race or whatever and swearing at them and calling them names, hideous names under the sun. Yeah, it was bad. That's not cool. But you can criticise their lack of effort and want because that is not there right now. It is why you are ninth and it's why you're not going to make the finals. Yeah. So How are the fan base is feeling? Essendon fans are just like, this sucks. Uh, yeah, and Saints, then Saints are like, why did we do this all Saints year? Saints fans are like, we play fun? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, we Kilda fans, that? <laughs> St Kilda fans are delirious because like next week they're going to kick four goals. Yeah, who they got? Because it's what week? they did. They did that against the Swans, and they kicked. Oh, they five got Brisbane next. And week. they kicked five goals they against were, Adelaide. They kicked a hundred against Brisbane up in the game. They did. Yeah. Maybe, so, maybe they're good again. Yeah, <laughs> they maybe. can make finals. <laughs> no, they can't. What if they win every game? No, they can't. Ooh. No, they can't. <laughs> and what? Every other team doesn't play. <laughs> could could, could nah, happen? They can't make finals. <laughs> they'll, they'll, Go to the Saints. Go they, on. They can finish high. The way they're going, they can finish higher than Essendon. 
Oh, anyway, oh that's funny. I like right. that. Melbourne, GWS, MCG. It was freezing cold. No one turned up. There was more seagulls than people. More Giants oh, fans than Melbourne fans. Yeah. Melbourne fans are at the snow. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, who watched this one? I watched this one. I, I watched a little quarter. bit of it. Yeah. All right. So, uh, the D's I like, watch it. D's like, hey, you're from Sydney. What do Sydney teams do? Nothing in the first quarter. We're going to kick the first five goals. Yep. Whoop! Hey! <laughs> 27 point lead at quarter time. They kicked a three more goals until like the 10 minute mark of the last quarter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Giants work their way back into it. Yeah. Giants kicked 12 of the next 15 goals after the first quarter. Uh, like we're, we're going to jump around a little bit. That's At one right. point in the last quarter when GWS went whack, 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 they had four clearances for four goals and a bunch of possessions. Melbourne had had four possessions. Yeah. Four? Yeah, four oh possessions. Oh, my yeah. God. That, they, they jumped him at the start of the line. It was that just, is yeah, so Tom Green, the, the Tom whole, Green just went, hey, AFL, you know you know how you're not happy with me? Watch this. The tsunami. The whole, the whole third quarter, Giants were on top but could not get yeah. the scoreboard impact. So the last quarter, I think, was just sort of like a everything together coming at once. Yep. Giants are going to kill you. Yep. Yeah. I, mean, yep. I, I, I just wanted to say Gorn, like in terms of stats wise, he, he was all right. No, nah, like, he. Would, would, you guys watched the game more than me, but he wouldn't have passed the vet right? test. So he had, what, he had 24, he had 16 touches and a goal. That's like, good. he'll take that. Briggs, he'll take does, Briggs he doesn't have yeah, a shoulder this morning. His shoulder. Both, oh, both shoulders that. were cooked. Yeah, yeah. I so, didn't need shoulders. Yeah, so run. Gorn, <laughs> if, if it wasn't. If they actually had like a half decent decent backup, he wouldn't have been playing. He yeah. looked well short of a gallop. It wasn't. He was always going to base this kid. I thought. Clary was it was his, one of his best games in a while. Like he was up for, up for it. Uh, you just look at the D's and go, how bad would they be without Jakey Lever and Stephen? Oh, I know. Like That's, I know it's it's like, yeah. oh, it's their two best players, but it's also like you can't then, win games just on defense. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because Fritch Pickett and Jacob Van Royen had twenty five possessions between them, but they kicked four goals. But is that enough between three yeah. players, four goals, twenty five touches? If it was if it was yeah, seven not, goals, not twenty five touches, I reckon you're happy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. They that, probably don't have enough players to share the load when it comes to goal kicking. Yeah, for them to like only have four goals between them. Yeah. Mm. So at one point, um, sorry, not Finn Callahan. He was handsome. awesome. Yeah, super handsome. <laughs> Thirty six touches. I thought he was the one that got GWS going in the second quarter. It was great. Uh, That's his be- is that his best game? Uh, it's his, his best career, game. I reckon. Speaking yeah. of best games, James Peatling. Yeah. yeah, he was good. He yeah, yeah. was awesome. He I was didn't everywhere. know he had that in him. Like, he did it against the Swans in the first Battle of the Bridge this year. He was everywhere, and then he got dropped. Just seems like <laughs> every time Melbourne were breaking away, he'd be there like laying a tackle yeah. or getting involved, and he was t- attending set of bounces. I didn't yeah. think he was a center bounce player. Yeah. 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 I mean, thought he, he was, was a backman, yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he yeah. was, he no, was he's, really he's, good. Yeah, he's wing in, in the midfield now. Tom, Tommy Green, 33 touches, nine clearances. Whitfield was just like, this is cool. No one's coming near me. I'm just going to get yeah. the football all the time. Jesse Hogan kicked four. Jesse Hogan's r- run of form is unbelievable. I'm just going to get it didn't up. I, didn't I call it's that so, a month ago? Here I you said, go, four, four, four. I said he's going to um, win the Coleman a couple of weeks ago. He's he's not far behind. Uh, Charlie, obviously, he's got a yeah. couple, couple of leads. To, I think what has he got? Second Hogan's now, sure. gone. Yeah. Hogan's definitely second. Uh, five, four, four, four. Yeah. Four. That's unbelievable. I mean, man. I did call he's that a back. month ago. That, that is a big power. How many goals is he on? Uh, he's in the 50s. 53. Yep. Oh, so he's like, like 50, 56, yeah. I reckon. So it's his best result ever. coming. Toby Green is hitting form. At the right that's, time. That's a scary thing for our opponents. A couple yeah. of goals, 16, 17 touches. He was looking dangerous. Kicked a, kicked an important goal in the third quarter. Yeah, they're coming up now. The funny moment. Did we see uh, Harvey Thomas? Yes. Oh, that was so funny. Yeah, yeah. If Jesse Hogan hey. loses the Coleman by a goal, we can go back they and blame Harvey Thomas. They actually lost their review on that because it was impact outside the line. Yeah. Oh, oh right. Yeah. <laughs> Alex yeah. I was like, what are you talking about? It, it Alex pit- just said, yep. <laughs> well, no, it just said, pitch outside yeah, like yeah. Yeah. I did not know what you were talking about. That. Uh, so Cricket the, fans. So the crowd, how are the fans feeling after that? The D's fans are like, wait, we played? <laughs> 17,000. Yeah. Come on, D's so fans. I did some, I did some research. The Giants we, fans get more, like, we, we have fans. We get more fans at, at North Melbourne. Games uh, <laughs> on contraire, my friend. Oh, damn it. <laughs> this time, so I've got, I did some stats. I was just saying it. It's like he's a stats guy. Yeah. So the Melbourne Demons at the MCG. In the middle of the year, you know, when it's cold and the Melbourne fans go to the snow they and drink their red wine. And have their security. So in the middle of last year against non-Victorian teams, I've got to write down who the teams were. They had 29,000, <laughs> 38,000, 33,000, and they also had 29,000 against North Melbourne. Yep. Three crowds above 60,000 all year. Anzac Eve, Queen's birthday, and round 22 against Carlton, who at the time, Carlton were flying up. Yeah, and Carlton are always going to have So a crowds. bunch of Carlton fans this year. This year, 28,000 against North Melbourne. 17,000 last night, 32,000 against West Coast. The only two above 60,000 have been Anzac Eve and Queen's Birthday. Fake fans. Melbourne Demons, yeah. fake fans. Small club. Like, I, I wouldn't rate them as a big they club. They're like a, mi- a so mid club. If the Melbourne Demons didn't have all, all their history and everything, like, they weren't the Melbourne Demons and they were 
Footscray or whatever. Would you, like, when we have to relocate a team, would it be them because no one turns up? No, it'd be St. Kilda because they're dead. Yeah, probably. Yeah, no. Nah, I was going to say the next team. Marvel also play at the G. Oh, yeah, maybe that should they be? Should they have to move to uh, Marvel? But that's the thing. <laughs> like their average crowds are nearly lower than the Sydney Swans who play in a stadium that's, that's got forty five thousand people. Mm. That's wild. West Coast fans turn up more. Even when they were winning, they don't. I don't know. They just don't turn up. It's so last year in round, uh, last yeah, start of last year round three, Demons were three and zero playing the Swans three and zero. Only fifty thousand turned up. Yeah, on a Sunday afternoon, it was yeah. glorious. Yeah, day. I remember that day. Actually, we got yeah. smashed. It sucked. Anyway, fans, GWS. Tsunami, let's go. Where we're are back. they? Yeah, they're back. They they are, they look really yeah. good. Yeah. And the D's fans are like, yeah, we do. To be fair, play. we that could have been a different story. They only won by, what, two points in the end. If they lost, we would have been a bit worried about Cameraman GWS. Cameraman doesn't pay on margins there. That's, That's true. It just says a W. It's a W. It's yeah. all good. These ones, bang. <laughs> the Derby. The Derby. The, oh, yeah, they call it a Derby. We call it a Derby. Well, this one was kind of entertaining. Actually. It was. West Coast were up by a lot. West Coast were, were in a front bit, by 20 points at one point, but they ended up losing by about 40, 17-8, uh, 110 to West Coast, 11-9, uh, 75. West Coast like, we're going to punch you in the mouth and see how you go. <laughs> and they did because yeah. they jumped right out of the blocks. They bought the heat, the pressure, yep. the tackles. They were laying tackles. I thought their what was let down is their first half was amazing, but they've kicked two goals in the second half. But mm. that's what you expect. They're both from in West the last, Coast. weren't they? Or yeah, they? yeah. They played a lot they're... better than I th I thought. To be fair, especially they all, they always lift for like they beat uh, Freo early in the year, yep. which no by thirty points or whatever it was. Mm. No one thought that was going to happen. But they put up a decent fight here. I I, th I think just that their last third quarter, quarter sucked. and they then play, third quarter, yeah. like like a bad team does, they play one horrendous quarter yeah. where a good team yeah, cuts custom, them open. Yeah. And Freeman were just going, we're just going to handball through you and watch this because you had Sarong and Brayshaw with it on a string. Jordan Clark was like, yeah, I'm sick as well. Look at me go. He's fantastic. Mm. Was this Jaeger O'Meara's best game for Freo? Oh, probably. He's going uh, under the what radar. do you have? 20 touches, two goals. Yeah. Yeah. He was, he was good. A decent He's season. a very honest player, Jaeger O'Meara. Yeah. yeah. But it's just the run and carry of Freo on the big field, like just cutting West mm. Coast up. With the handball, it was so good to watch. Freo are a very fun team. Like Hawks are a fun team. Yeah, Freo. Yeah. I don't know about like the vibes wise. The Hawks win that one, but in terms of, like fun team, when they're flying, Freo yeah. just have so many good players to watch. Like yeah. I, I love watching Freo. Yeah, so let's get into it. Um, Harley Reid, he was awesome. He was great. He That's was great. his best game in a couple of months, Since I'd say. The yeah. previous uh, derby. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Brayshaw with the sneaky late hit. Who I've noticed this year, he doesn't mind a little sneaky Whoa. late one. Brayshaw. Just yeah. Josh Simkin ass Braden mate. Not war criminal, but like <laughs> if he keeps level. doing it, just, like, um, just a criminal. Petty just, just, yeah, he's a, he's a petty <laughs> criminal at the moment. He's like the guy that the cops go, dude, just snitch on the other guys and <laughs> yeah. let you go. He's that's that's what Bra Brayshaw's a snitch. Well, to be fair, Brayshaw can never get a report. He, he, got, he got knocked out. Like, like, so what? I reckon he'll just get let off because, like, oh, poor so Brayshaw. So did Callum Mills. <laughs> yeah. Ah, who cares? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Just that, um, it was very funny, though, seeing Fremantle fans, Matthew Pavlich, Get triggered by a 19 year old who was up for the yeah, fight, yeah, yeah. having 29 yeah. touches, going, I ain't taking anything from this free mental team. I'm going to go down swinging. Yes, he got frustrated at one point, gave away a stupid free kick, but he's a kid. Yeah, he was good. Yeah, it was Free fun. fans were like, oh, the, Harley like Reed sucks. He never does it. It's like, you like the he's passion. a first year player yeah. and he's awesome. Yep. People were bagging Pav actually. He's, he's over in Paris in his shorts and uh, yeah. suit. I don't know. Those just look really Sh funny. Sure. Yeah, anyway, yeah. <laughs> sorry, that was random. <laughs> yeah. It just popped into my head. Because Pav, I don't know. He's, but he's you coming. just hear yeah, it. You just go, oh, just, you know, it's weird. Them saying, oh, don't, you know, don't do this, don't do that. It's like, eh, shut up. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let the boys play. I did say that there was a lot of fines coming. Uh, 18 MRO charges came 18? out of it. 18! Wait, what? $34,375 in fines out of this game and you know from what? the melee. 18 fines and that still doesn't add up no, to no, Butters' no. total fines. No, it's 15 fines. Oh, sorry. 15 fines doesn't add up to Butters' total so, fines. That's unbelievable. A suspension to Fife and Petricelli. The Jack Hutchison one was, and this is... We need more of this. More beef. This is all sorts of like bad irony was uh, Hutchison did the Maynard to Brayshaw. Oh, it's like the, fam fun. the no. family's <laughs> no, like, oh, joking. not again. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, he's only got a week for it, but it, it looked bad because he did the jump and smash because there was a player, was it on Friday was it night? Nick Newman and they got a damn field. It was, yeah, it was. but he's. He no, it wasn't Nick Newman. There was another one who jumped and dead yeah. set stopped. It was like, the, hey, you can do that, Braden Maynard. Yep, I actually noticed that. And I noticed uh, Watson last week on yes. Maynard yeah. didn't go through with uh, the hip and shoulder when he jumped in the air. To you get That's money almost you... like you can do other things when you're in the air. <laughs> Someone's like, you can't stop your momentum. It's like, yes, but you can open up your body and yes, turn. Literally. Uh, I did love when Elliot Yo and this brawl was happening was just like, Harley, 
get over here. Just grabbed him by the side. That was a pretty good uh, screenshot. Yeah, it was the big brother. Get over here. It was and six just, and the nine. Yeah. 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 Oh, right. Noise. <laughs> I, <laughs> Dinner for You've got some guy. deep jokes here. Dinner some deep jokes. It's, it's on, on, on Twitter, man. I wasn't really, Oh, I don't go on Twitter. <laughs> It's full of uh, people like Alex. Sorry, X. <laughs> X. Mate, I'm... I'm I, Alex I, is famous on Twitter. Kane Corn's like one of my head. tweets again. Really? Yeah. There you go. It was, about, it was about the fixture. I don't know. <laughs> nice. that, that makes my skin crawl. Alex and Kane Corn's working together. Ooh. What's up? <laughs> hey, I like Kane Corn. Hey, I'll take these ones. Uh, anyway, Big Kahuna, a.k.a. Dick Cyclone, a.k.a. Josh Tracy. What? They call him Dick Tracy, yeah. yeah. No, Dick Cyclone. Yeah. Well, they, yeah. Oh, Cyclone <laughs> Tracy. Yeah. Out of context. Oh, there you go. Out of context. You don't have to beat that one, Gerald. No, that's his nickname. So he kicked three. He's awesome. He just yeah. crashes packs, takes yeah. marks. Um, I He's having a great year. Yeah. I don't want to stand in front of him. Him and Amos together are going to make a great partnership. Yep. Yeah. I, agree. I did say here, Petrocelli probably gets two weeks, but he ended up getting one. Uh, are we concerned about Frio's defense, how they got cut open in the first half they've had, without they've been, Alex Pierce? Yeah, a little bit, but they've had the best defense all year. I know that's because of Alex Pierce's yeah. big input, but I still think they're, they're right still down one team above them. They've got defense. enough like yeah. big guys that can cover. Yeah. yeah, but Ryan doesn't seem to be a good like one. No, on one. no he's I like think he's like a third. West Coast tall. went played like four, even five tools at one mm, stage. Yeah. Ryan had to play a lockdown. It stretched their back line a bit. I wouldn't be too concerned. Especially, I think they might just have to play a little bit more attacking. They're like, usually we'd score 80, 90 points. If they can score 100, then they don't have to worry about the defense. Yeah, but this maybe. is like Carlton. You still can't win with a yeah, defense. I think I think it's okay. Yeah, I'm not worried yet. Uh, anyway, for West Coast, we have got to give them a bit of a some love because uh, Kelly Reed and Yo were all yeah. phenomenal. They, they were good. They did as much as they could, but it did show that West Coast, you know, that creamy middle that we keep talking about. Yeah, they got no one, so, no like guys in no their prime coming prime, up. Yeah. Like it's annoying. I need to remind myself for a thing I want to say on, on uh, Wednesday show about them. So anyway, uh, how are the fan base is feeling. Start with West Coast stats guy. Uh, West, oh, we tried. They'll, they'll probably take it because they've had a really bad couple of months. They had a bit of bit to cheer about because it was a big derby. They'd be frustrated that they were up and they they will be frustrated. Seeing a big turnaround. Also, like the that. fact that they won early in the year, but I don't know. I think they will be a bit worried still because. That last couple of months, they've just been woeful. Mm. And then uh, who else? We got Freo. We're going to win the flag! Freo and Freo about. First flag, let's go! <laughs> and and the have us make a final. You, it wasn't you. It wasn't I said it, flag you were saying flag mantle. They, yeah, as Jim said, they should just call themselves flag mantle. They haven't won a flag. So what? We're flag mantle. <laughs> Shut up, nerd. Yeah, yeah. they will change their vibes. Yeah. Sunday, <laughs> Collingwood. They beat Richmond. Yes. Who cares? Moving on. Uh, it was actually <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was there. Jack Kinnivan was so mean to us. <laughs> <laughs> I really hate the gym. Like, I was sick. I was, yeah, you would have liked that. Show, I was yeah. so sick last week. Like yeah. I could not get out. of I was bed. happy you didn't come in. But for, no, but for the power rankings, I had Collingwood as last under Jack Innovan's children because yes. I couldn't say Jack Innovan's B word because <laughs> that's what Jack Innovan made Collingwood last week. Anyway, they were like, "Hey, Jack Innovan's not here. We're going to win football games." Yeah, mm. it's easy to beat Richmond. Collingwood. I, I wrote down here. I was at the game. It was the most comfortable twenty six point win, I, win I've ever seen. I think it was up to forty or thirty five most of the day. It's never felt like. Never felt like down. like even Richmond the players. It, I don't know. They're so sloppy. They've got so many guys that aren't that wouldn't get a game at almost every other club, I'd say. Like Kansas Kaziski, McIntosh is officially an angry old man. Kaziski, I think, is I'm trying to see if there's anyone else in my head that's the worst player in the Elliot NFL. Himmelberg. Oh yeah, that's nah, a good one. Himmelberg, he's all right. Kaziski just every time he kicks it, I don't have any confidence in him at all. Anyway, that's just So a, glad Hawthorne got rid exactly, of him. Exactly. Hawthorne got rid of him. Uh I just wrote here Dacos you got was chill, like, Dac Dacos was taking the piss. I know that a lot of them were on the outside. He, he had 42 was stat touches. Padding. He's he, he set up a lot of goals and then uh Tigers were just dumb. He, guy, how many meters gained did Dacos have? I, I told you I don't like <laughs> meters gained. <laughs> that's Someone I actually up. sent me a message on uh about the show saying I agree with you on meters gained. I oh, didn't get that up. How do you know I'm gonna Oh yeah, but he loves meters gained. No, I'll show you, I'll show you. No, it doesn't matter. I love meters gained because Oh, you know, I shouldn't have brought the you, you want to know why meters gained is important, stats guy? I hate it. I hate it. Because how do you kick goals? By gaining meters. Nah. nah. That's how you, you score. You have to consider it into someone's stat. Like if Rory Laird has 30 disposals and minus <sighs> 10 meters gained, you can't say Remember, that this a good is game. why I was angry about Darcy Parrish and Essendon no, I agree. when he was having sometimes, 30 touches sometimes. and 87 meters gained. I feel like most of the time it doesn't come into it. Like one player or two players, the whole game it matters. You I consider think. the disposals that's and all you I'm consider saying. the meters gained. Which is why. And you consider the efficiency. And that's why I think it's also stats pattern because handball, handball back, handball back, handball back. It's not. Uh, he I, was good. All I'm saying here was. I would rather good. 25 damaging disposals than 42. Chip around. Yep. Yeah. Bit of Tiki uh, Taka. Yeah, yeah fair. Like well, talking away from Dacos, I wrote down McStay and Bobby Hill were awesome. They combined for five goals and 16 scoring. Every time I looked up, Bobby Hill was just on the counter attack. He looked awesome. I, they uh, Richmond put Tom Brown forward. Yeah, he, he was great. Goals. He kicked three goals. He took an awesome one-hander. 
that's like you say the future's not like that bright for Richmond, it's but not. he he is he's awesome. Not, yeah. He he played really well back. Uh, he is all a year. great ball user. Yeah, doesn't defend too well. No, but, but I don't mind him forward. I don't think a lot of Richmond small defenders can defend too well. No, but he's oh, he's like a medium tall. He's pretty mm. tall. That's why they're they pretty much playing him full forward, yeah. and it worked. Mm. Oh, I was pretty impressed by him. Anyway, fan base is Collingwood. We're back. I no. saw that. I saw that after the game. Oh, there was no Collingwood chant. That's how sad they were. There was. I was at the game. There was not one Collingwood chant. I was like, because they beat Richmond. And, uh, no, they're not. Well, they're not back. Collingwood obviously. fans are like, we can make the eight. I, we can do I, damage. Yeah. I got. No, they I can't. don't believe it. They are I way beat out. Carl, beat Carlton next week, and I believe. What it. was the crowd in this one? Do you know? So it was fifty-eight thousand. It was actually. So I, I was walking there. I was hailing. I'm like, oh, this could be like thirty thousand. Yeah, man. but Collingwood fans are like, we're gonna get a win. Then I got there. It was sunny. It was beautiful. So at the G, should have swapped. This game with uh, Melbourne GWS yeah. last night. Uh, 100%. And Still a good crowd. Richmond fans are like, yeah, we suck. Yeah. Yeah, Dusty's quiet quit. It sucks. Mm. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. Anyway. Yeah, sad for Richmond fans. SCG, uh, my Sydney Swans. Uh, I don't have the actual like, the tissues? goals. Uh, is- Sydney, oh, I've actually gotten over it already, which is great. <laughs> uh, Swans, 48. Sure. Western Bulldogs, 87. I think it's like seven. Gerald's been 13. running laps around here. Bulldogs fan. Because <laughs> he, he cares so much. <laughs> he <laughs> does. really funny. Um, it's got his so, Bulldogs so scarf on. It's got a Bevo badge. Western <laughs> Bulldogs came here and went, we're awesome. They yeah. were phenomenal. But How are they from good? From the get-go. How are they good again? I, it's just, but it rattles well, me. But that's the thing we've said. We've like, for two years, they should be to, good. back yeah. to code bet, we've said they've got the list to do it. Absolutely. It's taken them 18 months, but they've finally figured it out and clicked how to play footy. I also think that the Swans on the selection table absolutely balls this one up, and it's one of the reasons they got smashed. Oh, why is that? Yeah, why? So, so I'm so confused by this, that. Dane Rampey goes down last week with an old man injury. Yep. Aaron Francis uh, earlier this year came in against the Western Bulldogs, did his did standard job. 7 I don't mind out him, of yeah. 10 job. I don't mind Swans fans like, yeah, he sucks, he sucks. Yeah, okay, he's probably not a first-choice player. I get it. Yeah. But he does a 7 out of 10 job. He punches, he takes marks, he, he does punches? a job. Like spoils. No, no. Yeah. Punches people in the Whereas head. the Swans didn't pick that tall forward, uh, tall defender. And then that problem was exasperated early when Lewis Melican goes down with a hamstring. Mm. Then our our good friend Cheeks, James Robot. Yes. Still not playing. He he genuinely adds a lot of depth to the Swans. So but that. then the Swans. But that's not an excuse to lose but it's to the also like, by 40 points. But it's also but. like, oh, we don't have pressure around the footy. Yeah. And then it's like, ah, oh, Luke Parker's gonna be the sub. That, what? Mm. That's not like a like the fact that they but, only scored forty eight is what I so mean, bad. So the first quarter when the damage was done, it was five goals five yeah. to one point. After it was brutal, that, yeah. After that, it's eight goals to seven. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh wait, really? Yeah. Oh damn. But still, but that's what I mean. The damage eight is goals done, in three quarters is not seven goals either. to seven. Or seven seven, go- or seven goals to yeah. seven. But the damage is okay. done in the first quarter yeah, there you go. when the Swans don't have pressure on the footy where Luke Parker could bring. Yeah. With someone like Sam Wicks, who probably shouldn't be in the Swans team. He'd be a good sub, I reckon. He would have been a good mm. sub. Inject some <laughs> pace late again. in the game when you need him and you maybe you take off Corey Warner. But so the tools for the Western Bulldogs dominated. Aaron yeah. Norton had it on a string in the first yeah. quarter. He was fantastic. Jamara. It, well, we'll, li- get, we'll guess to Jamara, get to Jamara because yeah. Sam Darcy, Tim English, and Jones just were like, oh, football, grab. Football, grab. Yeah, they were, Everywhere. They were great. Yeah. The Swans disposal did not help. They were just like, What's that? Tall Western Bulldogs, dude. Here you go. Here's the football. <laughs> it was I. So I went to the pub to watch this. I left at halftime and came. Oh, in, big fan. No, <laughs> he I wasn't at the game to be fair. I, ca- I came into here and sat in the office in the corner to he watch the rest of the crying, game. Crying. Yeah. Would I just like <laughs> had a tub of ice cream? <laughs> We're not going to win the flag. Um, to be fair, they're still first. Like yeah. I, I got. Yeah. So Jamara. Oh it, my god. We, can, we can say it's click. He's here. Him, right? He's here. Yeah. The last it was month he's been on click. Yeah. yeah. Guess what happened a month ago, stats guy. Uh, I don't know. Oh, Broke up with his influence and misses. Oh, there, there you go. go. Break up revenge. Yep. Break up revenge. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Well, it's either you go downhill or you go like that. Yeah. Yeah. Jamara's going revenge. I love it. I'm all for a villain era. <laughs> yeah. yeah but, <laughs> That's great. A villain arc. He, he is so good. Like, he, I know he always gets compared to Buddy, but I I genuinely see it now. Like, oh, I've I, always it, seen like, it. Like, no, I, I don't They're know. Hawks fans. Athletically. Athletically yeah. and, and that left foot. I just think from Buddy's deep. a bit more powerful. Yeah, he, but, yeah. but also he's, what, 20? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll he'll he's going to put on another yeah. six kilos of muscle. He's so good. And Four Buddy goals. Was, and Buddy was never jacked. Four goals. Yeah. What else did he have? Like 13 to spell. Just yeah, so, awesome, so, awesome. So, yeah, you look at it, you're like, Jamara's kicked four goals, and he's probably their most damaging player. But you look at it, no one really stands out. I know Trelaw had 40. But again, sort of like a Nick Dacos, a lot of one-two handballs, this and yep. that. But you have players Bond like... Bond only had Richards. 22. They didn't rely on Bond. It's, it's, Bond's that's, goal that's, was sick. Yeah, that was Typical good. Bond goal, breaking away from the clearance, fend yeah. off, snap over the shoulder, goal. But you had players like so Bramble good. and West 
who stood mm. up and did their jobs. It's like it's like the bottom six players lifted and the Swans' bottom six did. So, dogs, phenomenal. Uh, is Bevo a good coach? No. Shout out to <laughs> oh, shout what? out to Latham Vandermeer for his classic nine disposal, one behind he's game. Crap. He's yeah, how crap. does he get a, a game in AFL level? Because they keep winning, you can't yeah, change. We can't change the team. <laughs> uh, so to the Swans, he is bad though. Their inside fifties were pathetic until the last quarter. Yeah, they were like football. We're just going to put it to thirty meters out where Tim English or Liam yeah. Jones are standing. Not once did they lower the eyes, try and handle or go around the arcs or try and get it in like a penetrating kick inside of the 50. Yep. It gave players like Logan McDonald, McLean and Amadi no chance. Amadi tried all day, as did McLean. I didn't mind the switch that they made with Logan McDonald, a center half back. Yeah. So it's like, do the Sam Reid because he can read the footy. He's a great grab and he's a beautiful kick. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, like you made a good point with Malikan going down. You had no one else and you got to cover Norton, Jamara, that's Darcy's, why. But very rarely like, can they all play together, but they finally are clicking. But that's I why, think it does help when there's no like. But that, yeah, it does yeah. help when Tom McCartan's like, ah, oh, this sucks. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, apart from Jamal, like, Norton didn't kick a goal. He was everywhere yeah. in the first quarter, but still didn't kick a goal. What did he have in the 18 and 10 marks? Yeah, but he it? had, I think he had eight in the first quarter. Mm. So after that first quarter, he sort of peters out. Darcy was popping up here and there, but it's again, once it all clicks for him, I think he's better than Jamara personally. Oh, that's, a, um, that's an uh, interesting call. Yeah. I don't mind. I reckon I, long term. No, maybe, maybe. Yeah. I still yeah. go Jamara. Uh, but yeah, the kick at long and high route didn't work for the Swans. I thought Matty Roberts was Phenomenal. Yeah, how many yeah. touches did he end up on? That's, his, that's got to be his best ever game. Well, it that, is. It's his second year. Yeah. yeah. It's one of those games where it's like, oh, Sydney went very good. Who's who's going to be our best no. player? Matt Roberts. No, for the last two weeks, Matty Roberts has been brilliant for yeah. this one. I do like him. He's had a great, um, great year. Heaney was great. 31 touches. Tried his guts out. Probably uh, game back to form, but had a couple of scuffed kicks as well, whereas if he laces them out, it maybe changes. Yep. Errol tried his guts out, but then we go back to that selection committee with Melican subbed. No Francis, no Parker. If you're not going to pick Francis, you've got to pick Joel Hamling or Paddy Snell. Who? who? Paddy he's a, Snell. He's a, he's a, We've he's had him a, on footy numbers. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't have so, gone. <laughs> I'll be honest, I've watched one, one Swans VFL game this year, but a bunch of Swans people that I know are like, Patrick Snell is that, you know, and it, you know eventually when you're like this dude debuts and he plays like 200 games. You know, so he's a key defender? Yeah. It's like Paddy Snell. It's okay. like, oh, yeah, that dude that you picked at pick 60 or whatever. I don't know what pick he was, but apparently a lot of the Swans guys are like, he just needs another year of development. Like, yeah, that's need right. depth. Uh, we need cheeks. I'm officially worried about the Swans forward line. Uh, we'll be fine. I think you'll be fine, but 40. That's so. We're talking about all the ins and outs about the back line. Only scoring 48 is but, it, but that also came, came to the forward with, entries with terrible forward entries. You guys still well. have the best offense in the AFL. Like, yeah. Statistically. Anyway, that's enough about Sydney. I reckon it is. Um, <laughs> geez, all right, host. But well, it's, no, I, I, but, I, no, it's also it was the Swans. The, it was the Swans like third or fourth lowest score at the SCG ever. Yeah. So that oh, shows you really? how bad it was. Jesus. So as a Swans fan, this was the Swans' worst performance since the final that they lost to GWS, where they scored their lowest score ever at the SCG. Mm -hmm. uh, at least they had a crack in the last quarter. They ran it out. It gives me some sort of thing for next I week. I still think you'll be all right. Which yeah. leads me into how the fans feeling. The Swans are like, personally, I'm like, thank God we got flogged. Because <laughs> if no, if this was like a 15-point loss, you're like, oh, you take something. I was like, no, we sucked and we're terrible. Change it up next week. Well, it's not change it up. It's Need like, to beat Port. Yeah, it's that, oh, God, this is like the Essendon loss in 2022 mm. where they, I think they won eight straight going into the grand final after that. Western Bulldogs, flags. We're, we're finally flags. winning. No, I don't know Let's about go. flags. I don't know about flags. They are, they no, are no, awesome. No. I'm a believer now. This sucks. So we've, we've had Rory Love play in the back line for what, he three weeks? He was great. Yeah, but three weeks. I I I'm, I do think they looked they it look is, amazing. It's going to be not the most, flags just yet. Just the most yet. dogs thing ever to lose to Melbourne on Friday. next week. Oh, yeah. like, Buku Kamas is everywhere Buku, as well. He's been Buku great. Very also, Cody thing. Whatman, stop flopping. Whatman. 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 <laughs> Whatman. I want to whop him. That's what I want to do. <laughs> want to do what? <laughs> I want to whop him one. Just whop out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're very excited. Bulldogs fans. Yeah. They're like, we finally won three games in a row. We're in an alternate universe. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Leo, your Hawks absolutely destroyed the Adelaide Crows. We don't have the scores here because. Got down oh, you got it? Yeah, Hawthorne, 124, 19 goals, 10. Adelaide, 8 goals, 10, 58. 19 goals, 10. 19 goals, 10. They're just scoring 120 plus every week. Am I 2015? What's going <laughs> yeah. on? Is Luke Hodge playing? Hodge? Is, is Buddy and Cyril playing? Sam Mitchell's Buddy was the, the coach. Sam Mitchell's captain coach. <laughs> what is going on? Uh, what a game. I, I'm just looking at the stats here. A lot of Hawks players, it was similar to the Dogs, didn't really have like a high possession winner. Mm, it's, it's yeah. Like they had Trelaw, obviously. Shared it around. Day 20 and seven tackles and an awesome goal. I don't know if you saw that. Yep. Shimmy around one and kicked it from 50. Newcomb 22 and two goals. 
Chol, 17 disposals, eight marks, and two goals won. Chol has decided he's like a god all of a sudden. He's, he's a, a god. Th- I thought he was crap. Even like I the- believe in Chol. He had one good year at Gold Coast. I now. believe in Joe Hendry. Yeah. What? Sure. It's an interesting thing. Yeah. Isn't it? <laughs> okay. Sure. Yeah, I, um, I do believe in Tom now, though. But yeah, first quarter, Adelaide had us. Like they yeah, were playing yeah, way were better football, but we were only down by a goal. So the ability to stick in it and put scoreboard pressure on mm-hmm. when things weren't going our way was really pleasing. From that, from then on in, though, we just absolutely dominated. Our pressure was through the roof. They had the pressure gauge up. It was always at two twenty. Whatever that means. What does that <laughs> mean? Oh, no, there's, there's <laughs> like, sure. no, but there's like an actual. <laughs> yeah, there'd be something. They never explained yeah, it. Though. Explain I, it to I us. I heard it on a podcast. <laughs> I need to find it. It was this one. Yeah. No, it wasn't. It no, wasn't. It was, it was Jim going by. You just yeah. divide it by three and <laughs> add ten, and there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm no maths genius. <laughs> yeah, not a math genius. Yeah. Yeah. Maths magician. Um, that's what he would yeah, say. Yeah. So no, it's uh, pressure points per pressure chance measured at like the weighted sum of acts. Pressure acts were three point seven five points. It's like full. Nerd. Fox footy, just <laughs> shut up with the pressure gauge. Just say, <laughs> just say they're tackling yeah, really just well. Just say they've had forty tackles. Yeah, thank you. Like, like, I hate the pressure gauge. It does look cool, and then you're like. I don't care. Yeah, it's like, oh, okay. Our so, but it's like, how why are we down by five goals? <laughs> <laughs> the pressure gauge it's, is everything. Maybe they should have a ladder for the best pressure gauge. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it should. It like it just should be out of ten. Yeah, like, actually, yeah, out, out of ten, of not, not two hundred and twenty. <laughs> yeah. Out of a hundred. Yeah, true. Like yeah. if you're at forty, yeah, what are you doing? But if you're at eighty, oh, it's hot. It's, really hot. <laughs> it's so weird. That's a yeah. good point. That was a very uh, good point. But the Hawks, they, can they make finals there? You're a Hawks man. Um, yeah, it's going to be the hope that kills me. Let's just say that. But <laughs> uh, well, do you have hope to make finals? Oh, you do. Oh, yeah, you're ninth. We're now. ninth. Yep. We're, technically, we're, technically, we're equal eighth. Yeah. Um, it's just tough because the percentage is behind everyone in front of us, mm. and but it's not too bad. The percentage. Dogs are on the same amount of points, fifteen more percent. The teams ahead of us, Port, are two percent ahead and a game ahead. Yep. It's tough. It's a big game next week. If we can somehow beat GWS. You just don't, you don't lose, so yeah. <laughs> if somehow beat GWS <laughs> and Sydney can take care of Port, then we're talking. But Tell you what, that'll make my birthday nice and good. That'll make my birthday in October very nice and good too. Yeah. yeah that's I don't, not I don't, on the same day. Yeah. It's all birthdays. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll have a birthday year. next year. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, fan base, I'm very happy with that. Yeah. yeah. Hawks fans are very excited. Yeah. Literally Brighton. the most consistent team in the comp, other than um, since, since Bright- like, Lions at the moment. You nearly said Brighton. Uh, <laughs> Brighton Lions. Yeah. No, I almost said, yeah, I almost said Brian Lions. Brian yeah. Lions. <laughs> Brian Lions. <laughs> and Adelaide fans like, uh, we <laughs> won against Essendon last week and looked awesome. What happened? Yeah, Adelaide they fans, look- like, I know Essendon would be filthy. Adelaide fans should be so yeah, filthy. They with the amount of talent they have, very poor. they got smashed by Hawthorne. They do have a young team. I, th- but I so reckon if, if we had, no, but if we had a look at their average age, I reckon um, Adelaide would have a younger average age. They're playing, oh. you know, Zach Taylor, Hugh Bonds, Billy Dowling. They these got Tex. Guys, Tex would help true, the average. But these Kurt, guys are very Kurt was the sub. He Kurt actually got, he on. was a late He in. came on and looked good. Why did he, he look start? Really nice. Play him play every him. week. It doesn't, you can't make finals anymore. Play actually, the young guys. I, that's something I need to yell about Essendon. They're not picking their young dudes that actually look yeah. awesome. Like Sardis, any club in, in the league will take you. Yeah, I, I was at uh, Essendon's VFL oh, game were, yeah. today. Sardis, disposal let him down a bit, but was wet conditions. Okay. Hobbs. Hobbs is good, yeah, yeah. I don't mind him. Yeah, so yeah, that was another thing. Anyway, so fan bases, Hawks are like, hell yeah, this rules. Like, flag yeah. next year for sure. <laughs> yeah, uh, next year. And sure. Adelaide are like, uh, what are we doing? Yeah, yeah. they're just so frustrated because they have a good team. Tipping results. Oh, I forgot. Did check? I'll check now. I ended up with six. Same. Maybe seven. Uh, six. I, I got, got who did I get wrong? I got Essendon wrong. I um, got six. We all got six. I got Essendon wrong and I got um, uh, Carlton. Carlton wrong. They're the only two. been another one. And uh, oh, Gold Coast. we all tipped bloody yeah, Gold Coast. The Gold only Coast. one that tipped the Western Bulldogs right here. Yeah, very nice. That was just like, oh, I hate the Bulldogs, so I'm just going to No, but this was, this was also, they had everything to play for. This yeah. one's 10 points clear. I was the only one to tip uh, Port. Yeah. They don't lose at Marvel. So good yeah. Yeah, good stuff, Stats Guy. Well that was a very good tip. Job, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I should have bet on it. Full <laughs> credit to the boys. <laughs> best team of the week. You go and beat the best team in the competition by 40 points at their home ground. You are the best team. What's Jim's thing? Western Port, Bulldogs. Swans are, Swans are the best team in the last 150 years, he says. Yeah. Not yeah. anymore. Jim's I fine. thought Essendon were the best team in the AFL. <laughs> so there's the best team in the AFL and there's the best team in the last 150 yeah, years. And both of them have lost a lot lately. Two completely different. You know a lot about that. Drive <laughs> I, I can say brap, stuff. Brap, brap. <laughs> I'm sad enough. You can't get into me about North. You're standing up. up. You're sitting down. Yeah. What? I'm sad enough. <laughs> I <I'm> sad. <laughs> I'm so anyway, <laughs> shut up. The Western Bulldogs were the best team around. The stats boy. Uh, I, I'll agree, but I'll say something different. I'll say the Saners. They looked awesome. That is the best mm. they've played all year. I just wanted to say it because I'm like, 
Saints. The two te- yeah. It's two clear teams this week. It is St Kilda and it is the Western Bulldogs. Oh. And I know Leah's going to say well, Hawthorne. Well, I have to. I have to go Hawthorne. for it. Yeah. You guys put the teams in first, so I had to. Yeah. Yeah. Hawthorne is, were great. They were but, yeah, but they beat Adelaide. But the, by, Adelaide. by 70 points. Yeah. yeah, but they beat Adelaide. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I put in Hawthorne. Bit of self-love. Why yeah. not? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's vibing, having a good time. To be fair, Leo hasn't talked up Hawthorne all year, so I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, this is the second time I tipped him. Oh, yeah. You go on. There you go. Best on ground of the week. It's a lot. Cooper Sharman, a.k.a. Nick Rewalt. <laughs> Stop those comparisons. Nah, it was I'm, awesome. I can do it for this week. Is he going to move to America? No. Oh, not, not yet. Oh, That's what Nick Rewalt I did. nearly said something I shouldn't have said. I didn't. <laughs> uh, but also, honourable mention to Matty Roberts. He was awesome for this yep. one today. You can't get best on ground for the week when your team loses by oh, 40. Whoops. <laughs> but Gary Ablett, <laughs> you've actually done it. <laughs> My Jesus team lost Christ. by 40. He on was on. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even read this the run sheet. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as that he just he's clocked exactly what I was gonna do. Stats guy did shizzle. Great. Mate, can I just say stats and you'll be like, well, he was he 36 was disposals. Matty Roberts had 36 disposals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, oh my god. We had 16 scores. Sheasel had 14 score involvements of the That's 16 scores. He's That's like, it's like, all right, give the ball to Sheasel. Yeah. And then duh, just everyone else is like, oh crap. And then we every time we got it forward without Sheasel, everyone just stuffed it up. It's like a checklist. Oh. When it goes inside 50, you're like, wait, did Sheasel touch it? Touch it? No. Oh, we kick it God away. damn it. We gotta kick it out of the full. Like he was unbelievable. He was doing everything. Tom Stewart as well. He's probably the real one. They got a, they got to win. 32 disposals. He was amazing. Intercept marking everything. Nine marks, Tom Stewart had. But I'm just saying Sheasel because I think he's going to make All-Australian now. First half of the season, I did not think that. Second half of the season, he's kicking a goal every week. And I think that's a sign of a star midfielder. Sort of like Dave Cox. He's not getting in the midfield. What was that? No, I know. Maybe on the bench. bench. Maybe on the bench. bench. But, yeah, that would be pretty close. But Sheasel and Stuart for me. Yeah, I think... I'm going to the Saints game. Nasai Wanganine Miller. Oh, you called the big call. I called it. We got a big call right. Let's go. I had to ruin it by saying Ben King would kick five. My big call is the dogs were going to beat Sydney. There you go. You went on the podcast. I know, I was dead. I was dying. <laughs> he's alive now. Jesus. Um, but Wanganee Jesus. Miller, he's, he's awesome. 31 yep. disposals. His goal was epic. 87% efficiency. You just can't give him time and space. His kick is awesome. Just always hits the target. Love watching You've got to put pressure well, on him. Well, not always. Just most of the time. Well, it might, have been, might have been a handball that he missed. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's kicking 100%. He missed two handballs, yeah. Old mate, no mates. John Longmire. Oh, he's turning. Oh, he's having a go at Horse, <laughs> the greatest right. Sydney coach of all time. Get Dean Cox in. Hold on. Sorry, he hasn't said anything. I've just I've got excited. So, Swans have now lost four of their last five, and there's been a noticeable trend for the Swans in the last month. Hashtag horse out. No. Oh. <laughs> Shut up, Stats guy. He loves horses. <laughs> Love my horse. Anyway, John Longmire has been coaching down at the bench. What was he doing when the Swans were flying and just destroying everyone for fun? Coaching in the Chilling box. in the box. Coaching in the box. Oh. John Longmire, get your ass up the stairs. Maybe they're all scared of him on the, on the bench. Don't care. Get <laughs> He's up got st- an injury and he can't get up the stairs. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Catch the lift. Get up the stairs. <laughs> get a jetpack or something. I don't know. Get up the stairs. <laughs> get on Dean. Let Dean Cox carry you. <laughs> he probably could. Yeah. <laughs> Five minutes carry Dean Cox walking up the stairs of the Adelaide Oval. <laughs> Imagine it. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Imagine a coach. It's like, all right, we're going to go back up to the box. And someone's just carrying the coach. Or it's like he sits on his shoulders. Like, hey! I told you to go in hard. Sorry, yeah, boss. He doesn't need to go in the box if he's on Dean Cox's shoulders, yeah. just on the boundary line. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's already up there. He's line. already up there. So anyway, but no, anyway, get back to the, the coaching box, John Lamar. Also, Peter Wright, an honourable mention, you might be the worst two-metre tall player in the AFL, and that includes Mason Cox. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. Bruh, bruh. All right, I'm going old mate, no mates. This guy is old mate, no mates. The goal umpire, don't know his name, on Friday night. Oh, yeah. I think I'm not... I'm no, not this 100%. Be harsh. No, I'm, no, no, this, I this agree with not. this. The first one especially. Tuck your sticks in. He did. <laughs> tuck, no, no, he no, did. No, no, they, they need to tuck in a bit more. more. No, they <laughs> weren't. They, they were be. slightly out of order. Yes, thank Therefore, you. when the ball went through, they flicked the sticks. This was like the loose goalpost flap at Gather Round last year yes. when Tom Papley kicked a long bomb from 50 and it hit the little flap there. If that wasn't there, it's a goal. Thankfully, <laughs> thank the Swans won by 50. But tuck your sticks in. Thank no. you. This is this my old mate, no mate. I just think, and then... I think it was the same goal umpire. He didn't get out of the way when uh, the ball's rolling. That, that's that's you, can't, you can't though. help that. Nah, you can jump it, mate. Nah, yeah, this is hard. All I'm saying is, oh, mate, no, mate, because he's coming to there and going, oh, I've cost, uh, I've like cost two goals. Years. Imagine no, if it cost one of them was a goal. goal. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. It was just a, not a <laughs> good night for him. Oh, mate, no, mate, all the, all the other umpires would have laughed at him in the room. Well, yeah. so. Brad Scott and Matthew Nix. Brad Scott, because you're not resultist. What the hell does that even mean? <laughs> you know, he said um, the day after, they showed it on uh, Front Bar or something, that um, he goes, oh, but we do have to look at the results. The next day he said that. So he's just, he's lost the plot, Brad yeah, Scott. He, he could be 
Just a little mind do Freaky Friday. Also, going course. back, can we go back with him? Oh, Matt Nomad Singh saying him telling Dyson Heppel that he was dropped was the hardest conversation he has ever. I reckon retiring a few of those kangaroos. Retiring player. Boomer Harvey, yeah. your dog. But anyway, that's another oh, story. Oh, go stats go. No, I actually like Brad Scott. <laughs> so I was going to say, reti- was I was going to say, retiring all those uh, yeah. North Melbourne players and then setting them into ten years of just patheticness mm, might yeah. have been the. Hardest stuff ever. Yeah. What was the other one? Uh, Matthew Nix, just because they had such a good win against Essendon and to back it up like that, he was out coached by Sam Mitchell. And I know his team didn't really show any effort in the after the second quarter. But you but gotta do better as a coach, probably. Yeah, it just didn't seem like he had an answer for Hawthorne's game plan. Yep. Nice. nice. All right. Uh <laughs> what I can't stand. Melbourne Demons fans. Oh, true. Fake fans. Or Weaver. Yeah. I don't think he turned. Actually, he would have turned up. He turns up. He's a real. He's, fan. he's a real. He's fan. a self-loathing fan as well. So yes. I really appreciate our good friend Andrew Weaver, but not turning up. Like seventeen thousand fans turning up to a game. Max, he's back. You're still a chance of playing finals. I know seventeen thousand at an Oscar game. I know it was cold, oh, but <laughs> honestly, it looked so bad. I know. Yeah, it looked bush. It was cold today, and everyone turned up at the G. I would have gone. Someone's like, "Would you go to a game?" For t- if your team was playing, I would go every week if my yeah. team was playing. Just unless up. I ha- unless I couldn't go for whatever reason, I'm going Just every wear a game. Like everyone else in Melbourne, it's not hard. Yeah, exactly. Leo, I can't stand teams not tagging. I know teams. Dacos today should have been, should've been tagged. Dacos should have been tagged. North needed to do something about Stewart. Now, well, no, but yeah. we notice that North don't tag. No, no, we do. Phillips we have six tag. games this year. Phillips is yeah. not the matchup for Stewart. No, exactly right. I can't believe Clarko didn't go, hang on, we need to get physical with Stewart mm. here. Let's disrupt him. I would have put Zerha, Luke on him. I would have put Zerha on him and just said, be a bull, get into yeah. him. Zerha is just too lazy, doesn't do He's enough He's also work. a soft big guy. Zerha. He's a little bit of a soft big guy. But it, it just they needed to do something. I agree. I, I agree. think tagging, especially the last few years, you see Hawthorne with Finn McGuinness. Yep, it um, works. I think Sydney do it with Robottom and Jordan as well. And then also uh, Taylor Adams has been Taylor doing Adams. it a bit too. Like he, he did it to Bont. Bont yeah. only, Bont's only I don't had 20 touches. I don't get why every team doesn't do it. Will yeah. Phillips as well. He's done he the job. He was being good like, on Dacos. Yep. Just, Cotter at Carlton. Cotter, yep. Like you just got to do it. I know it might disrupt the structure, but I think it helps. Honestly, yeah. there's the benefits there. I think our teams have shown that the benefit is there. Yep, I agree with that one. I also don't think you're doing it every week, so it's not blatantly obvious. So I don't, yeah, like, like the Swans did it last week with you don't uh, need to do it on every Taylor team, Adams really. to Lockie Neal because the James Jordan one, mm. every team might think it's coming now because he yeah. did it four weeks in a row and nailed it. I, th- I think you got to mix it up, yeah. and I think it's also not necessarily tagging. Like for Stewart, I'm saying you didn't have the matchup for mm-hmm. him. You needed to be more accountable for him, not necessarily a tag. Yep. Fair yeah. enough. Cool. Super coach. Hey, 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 hey. Why I can't stand. I'll, I'll can't shot. stand being interrupted and moved yeah. on. <laughs> I forgot about that. I'm very excited for super coach. We can't just move on. No. <laughs> uh, Cal- I can't stand is Carlton fans blaming the umpiring when they scored 11 points in the second half. I had some yeah. mates that uh, after a few drinks, I heard they were arguing with uh, other Carlton supporters about the umpiring. So that was weird. So like, Do Carlton what, fans hate themselves yeah, more than anyone? What side were your mates on? Were Carlton. They? No, no. Oh. Like, were they saying they should have been? Oh, I don't know umpiring? the full story, but okay. I just know that a lot of people on the ground were complaining about the umpires. Don't complain about the umpires when your team scores one goal in the second half. Yeah. That's um, why you lost. Also, they had more free kicks than Port Adelaide. And, the well, night. well, I not always that's the right thing, but I agree. They they can't complain about the umpires, and I just don't like when. You, bl- you can't blame 99% of games, more than 99% of games, unless you're Adelaide last year, you can't blame the umps. Yep. I would say, yeah, kicking one goal five in the second exactly. half so to seven goals eight. That just annoyed me. Yeah. Yep. Salty Good stuff. fans. Super coach Wash. I think everyone's had like a really a awesomely week. large week. Where is going to win the thousand? Uh, <laughs> so I wish. Nick Dacos blasted 160. Matty Roberts got like 160 as well. Did he? For the bad oh. stuff. Chad Warner got absolutely buckus. Yep. Nothing. Yep. Mm. Charlie Combin for me got 30. But then a, 30? A, yeah, oh, no. a bunch of dudes all got 100 plus. Yeah. Like yep. Cherry, big score. One, 150. 150 uh, uh, Sheezel, 160. Zorko. Yeah. Flanders, 140. Zorko, 150. That was just like all the big names. Uh, Steel, 136, yeah. 23 yep. goals. Just the big names stepped up. Every primo except for Connor Rose and Chad Warner killed it. Yeah. yeah well, Haney, what did Haney end up on? Uh, 82. Uh, 70, oh. 72. Oh. Is that right? 82. Oh, 82. Sorry, oh. 82. Yeah. So that was a bit of a way. He was a bit inefficient. Yeah. Whereas, like, I think the yeah, other fantasy t- things, he would probably have a decent score. Wang Dean Miller is my pod all year, 134. What's he averaged? Uh, 103 or something like that. Yeah, yeah okay. which is pretty good. Um, yeah, just a big week. Uh, I, I genuinely reckon Leo's going to be up there in Australia. Well, I want to see I got where he's 2, at. 2,656. That is massive. That's awesome. Who'd you captain? Uh, I vice captain Sheezel. 160, 160. That's yeah. And I almost forgot to take it off. One of my mates last night sent me oh. a text and was like, are you going to loop Sheezel? And I was like, oh, crap. And the only yeah. player I could loop 
was Kruger because luckily he was out with a concussion. Oh, so I got very lucky there. Yeah. So like Heaney's had 108 fantasy points. Yeah, Maybe, so yeah. because they don't yeah. count efficiency. But, yeah, yeah. Like, Supercoach is Matty more Roberts locked smashed in. it there with 138. And uh, for the meters gained team stats guy, he had 895 meters gained. Ah, it doesn't mean anything to me. Yeah, but then you have a look. So hold on. <laughs> Numbers. 40 <laughs> no, that's the only number. But I don't 40 care about. possession, Adam Trelaw, 320. Yeah. So that just shows you. Like, I take into account efficiency as well, but yeah. Some clearances are only like 20 meters. Mm, Trill, yeah. Anyway, Roberts yeah. is more of a kicker. Yeah. He, he's, a, he's a very good kick. Uh, anyway, that'll do. That's been a long a show, show for AFL today. Well, um, today, thanks to the Dinguses for jumping on, being Thank with you, me Dingus. today. Thank you. We'll be back for the midweek madness show on Wednesday and the teams this coming Thursday. We'll try and hit up our good friend Eliza Riley. Yes. Yeah, she was good last time. I'll yep. send her an email and try mm -hmm. to get her on for Wednesday because. A lot of chat coming out of Freo after last week. Obviously, yep. the derby was a flag fiery mantle. one. So, flag mantle, West Coast doing stuff. Who's going to be the new coach now that Dean Cox said no? Anyway, remember to smash a like across the socials to see us doing all the stuff. Just filling in all of your footy goodness this year. Facey, IG, X, Threads, TikTok, and of course, YouTube. Thumbs up, subscribe, like, comment on the videos. Thank you to everyone that comments on the videos. People like did the Swans win, get around us all the time. Uh, the dude with the really long beard that commented, I've forgotten your name, but you're the uh, long bearded Carlton fan <laughs> yes, as well. Yeah. So Isn't shout out to Was everyone. Jim? Yeah, not Jim, but shout Hawthorne. out to everyone that's jumped up yep. along the way. Hawthorne for getting around us on TikTok. Get around cricket today, football today, NBA Australia. Jim is doing a bunch of the Olympics. NFL Australia is about to come up. Hold all tickets is on hiatus at the moment, but check out punters. Yes, so punters.com.au, yep. check out that social account because we're <clears throat> putting out a lot of videos at the moment. Just spring's coming up. A lot of fun moments going on there. But anyone, anyway, get around them like <laughs> Still Essendon just hyping up themselves only to fail miserably. <laughs> just like, I don't know, Manchester United last year. Yep, yep. fair enough. Something yeah. similar. <laughs> anyway, shout out to Gerald too. You've done a great job behind the show. Anyway, that's it. We'll catch you later this week for more AFL today. Until then, Woody's back. If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows in the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today Podcast, the Football Today Podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover.